Hello, this is Mr. Doty, and today I wanted to go over some things with the template. Um, so this is an AutoCAD, and I brought up a, a basic template that I've used in the past. You know, it has the inch layout tab here, um, and then it also has the metric one. Um, but I found that we need to have some larger size pieces of paper. So, um, we're going to try to show you how to, or I'm going to try to show you how to set this up, and we're going to work on this together, and we'll get it figured out. I'm going to break this up into some different uh, videos. Uh, this first video, I uh, just want to talk to you a little bit about, you know, how to uh, mess with the, the layout tabs, you know, adjust them, do what you need to do, and uh, talk a little bit about, and I'll probably do this on each one, but you know, so on your template, you should have some different layers, obviously. Uh, you know, in, and you might have one called section, because uh, in your upper level classes, you're going to be doing some sections. You may want to put those on a different one. Uh, you may have one called, uh, instead of section, you might have one called uh, hatch. You know, to put your hatch patterns on. So those are important things. Of course, we have our hidden, we have our center, we have our object, we have a phantom. I'm not sure why the object is uh, white, but that's okay. Um, let's see, what else do we need to think about on here? Okay, well, anyway, you got your layers. Uh, if I think of another layer that's important, I'm trying to think about why. I was working on this video the other day trying to come up with things and said too much on it. So I'm going to go over to the annotate tab. So you should have, if I go to manage text styles, so this is the text under text. You know, you go to the style. Um, there it is. Uh, your, your style manager. Now, originally I had you guys create a style one and set it to 0.125 and then we kind of went from there, right? Well, what you need to have so that you can make your notes and things work, whether it's metric or inch, is you need to have your annotated text. And annotated text should be set, I'm not sure why the annotated is not set to 0.125, but it wasn't. Uh, that needs to be 0.125. Then you should also have a metric one set to three, and then your standard should always be set to zero because remember your dimension style and your other styles that are out there use uh, standard needs to be set to zero so that it can scale it however it needs to so keep that in mind uh, honestly I'm not sure if you couldn't just use annotative you know whichever annotative you wanted to do it but I know that at least with dimensioning you need to use standard set to zero or have something set to zero so that it can scale it so alright and of course you remember you need a font that's not you know strange looking or hard to read uh, Arial uh, Roman, Roman Simplex or Roman S uh, let's see uh, Helvetica would probably work uh, let's see what what's some other ones uh, Times New Roman uh, let's see. The main thing is, is there's one called TXT, and if you really want to irritate me and get a nasty gram, then set it to TXT. So I guess if you're one of those people who, uh, you know, likes to uh, irritate people, I guess, then you'd use this crappy one right here. Don't use that one, okay? Just trust me. Don't do it. All right. So enough about that. Uh, I'm gonna leave this one on Arial because that's a common one to use, and I like that one. It's easy, it's simple. It's up close to the top. So anyway, uh, Verdana is down there close to the TXT one. So if you start out with the TXT one, Verdana is really close, and it would work. All right. So review. Annotated metric should be set to three. Annotated should be set to 0.125. Standard should be set to zero, and if you have a style one, set it to 0.125.
Now, the reason that I haven't deleted that one off is because those text guys right there, they're set to style one, and I don't want to mess something up. So, I'm going to leave it alone. Okay, so, now what do we need to check? So, we've got our text up here. I'm under the annotated tab. I'm going to go to my uh, dimension style manager. So, basically, all you need is to have an annotated, which is your inch. And under that, let's make sure everything's set. So, apparently, I have not gone through here and fixed this. So, let's do this real quick. This is 0 0.125. Uh, 0.09 is fine there. That's under text. And you'll notice I'm using standard because it's set to zero. So now that's going to allow it to scale with this. So if you pick anything else, like let's say annotative, see it doesn't adjust it. So your text isn't going to scale correctly. So you put it on standard. So now I can control it with the dimension style. So that's why we have it. Symbols and arrows. Arrows should always be 0.125. And break size is fine. Um, I don't do center marks because there's a special center mark uh, tool that we use that you should already know about. Uh, extend beyond dimension lines. 0.125, which is an 8, looks way better than 3 16ths, which is what somebody decided was a good plan. I don't think so. Uh, baseline spacing, we can leave it on 0.38 for right now. Um, you know, they could be a little closer, but you know, a lot of times you'll want to go in and, and just make everything consistent um, when you're laying out your dimensions. Okay, so let's just double check. So this is an eighth, it's sixteenth, that's three eighths for now. Um, arrows are 0.125, no center march, break line's fine. Don't need to change this. This is good. Text uh, offset 0.09. It's always centered, always horizontal. Uh, if you needed to make it an architectural one, you would align it with a dimension line and um, you would put it above, you would put it above the, um, well, it'd be on this one. Vertical would be above and that would put it above the dimension line. But we don't need that. We need it centered and horizontal because we want it to be unidirectional and be read from, you know, not having to rotate the drawing. All right. So anyway, that's all good. Fit is annotated. We're fine. I usually don't adjust any of these because you can adjust them manually and work, make it work. Primary units, decimal, uh, precision. I'm going to change it to three decimal places. I definitely want to get rid of leading and trailing zeros. Now you can always come back and adjust this trailing one to get it to look the way you want depending on how many uh, decimal places there are. And that's something to remember, you can go back and adjust this stuff to make the drawing look better. But typically we want to suppress our, our zeros. Okay. I'm not worrying about any of these others. Uh, you know, if you were doing something with tolerancing, then you go over here and you can adjust it and Obviously, you've got these different types of uh, tolerance methods that you can play around with. And those get covered in some other classes. Um, yeah. Anyway, so moving along, um, that's pretty much it for the annotated. And that's our inch one. So, all right, now let's look at our metric one. Go to modify. Now let's check this one to make sure it's good. All right, so baseline spacing is nine and a half. I don't know why they change, why it's set to nine and a half. I usually set it to nine. Uh, extend beyond dimension lines is three. Offset from origin, 1.5. Hmm, I don't know who did this one, but I usually just do one. Um, so anyway, now arrow size should be three. No center marks. And jog fat. Okay, break size is three. And see, I don't know why this was changed. It should just still remain the 1.5. Yeah, I don't know who. I don't know who did this one. Somebody. I don't know where I came up with this guy, but I guess I use it for an example or something. Anyway, under text, text height standard, three. 
uh, offset from dimension line one. Yeah, I definitely don't know who this was because that's not anything I ever set up. Oh well, we're gonna fix it. So I'm showing you how to fix it. Uh, fits always annotative primary units. Now it's metric, so precision can be to one decimal place, but you always have suppress your leading and trailing zeros. And in this case, you'll never change this, okay, for this metric. All right, so there's that. And so I have an annotative and an annotative metric, and I'm good. And I'm not worried about the standard because I'm not going to use it. We're always going to use annotative because it scales everything up. All right, so that's our dimension style. So we've messed with text, we've messed with our dimension style. Now you need to look at your multiliters. And for some reason, it stuck it on the other side. So there we go. All right, you'll notice that I have an annotated to start with, which looks like it might need some adjusting. So let's check it out. So annotative, let's go to modify. And I'll bring it over here. All right, so let's uh, let's start from the left, and we'll look on we'll work on the format. So the symbol is a closed filled arrow, and it's 0.125. That's cool. Break size, 0.125. I can do that. Uh, leader structure, the landing distance is 0.25. Yeah, I actually changed that because I don't like it being so big. I don't think it looks right. So I changed it. Annotative's good. That's fine. Uh, content. Uh, Multi-leader type is M text. Uh, default text. Text style is standard, which means it will uh, scale it correctly, I would think. And then your text angle, keep horizontal. Text color, yeah, that's fine. Text height 0.125. Uh, leader connection is horizontal. Landing gap 0.09. That that should all be fine. So I'm okay with these settings. I'm going to leave it alone. Hit OK. Now I'm going to go over to my metric one. Now if you didn't have a metric one, what you would do is you would click on annotative and you would hit new, like so, and then it would say copy of annotative and then you would change it to annotative metric and then you'd hit continue. Okay, and that's how I made this one. So here's my metric. I'm going to go to modify. Uh, let's see, let's start from here. So um, straight color. All right, so arrowheads are three, break size is three. I'm happy with that. Uh, let's see, leader points is two, landing distance is six. That equals the quarter inch. You know, if you're talking about comparing apples and apples and then over here uh, my landing gap I set it to one and then okay text style so you really should have it set on standard that way it should scale right uh, I had it on annotated for some reason thinking that it might be different so if I figure out something different I guess I'll make a different video and we'll adjust it but for right now, we're going to go with standard, and standard set to zero so that this has control of the scale, and it should work. Now, if for some reason you ever needed to make a copy of uh, a leader style where you had a frame around the text, you know, had a square, you know, it squared off around the text, um, you know, to create a basic dimension or general dimension, no, not a general dimension, but it would be a basic dimension. There's another dimension style that it could be as well. But anyway, if you need that, then you can create a copy of whichever one you needed and click on the frame text, and there you go. All right, so this should take care of your multi-leaders, all right, and uh, I'm happy with those, so I'm going to hit close. All right, so let's think. Is there anything else that I would need to make sure I had when I'm setting up my template? Okay, so this is about a 15 minute video so far. Time flies and we're having fun. So like I said, I'm going to divide this up and in the next video, we'll work on something else related to the template. And uh, we'll catch you next time.